Kassim Tavalali, a senior in SFS. Uh, I was wondering if you have any stock tips for any of the students, you know, we're, we're all trying to uh, make, make a little living. Uh, I didn't think they taught that at Georgetown. <laughs> they, no, they, the, best, the best investment I ever made, well, I, I bought a book in 1949 by a fellow named Ben Graham called The Intelligent Investor. I, I don't remember what I paid. But aside from what I paid for my two marriage licenses, that was the best investment I ever made. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, it's very important to have the right framework. You need, you, need, you need to have an approach to investing that's sound. And, and Graham's approach is, is simple, uh, but some people uh, adopt to it, and, 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 uh, which I did immediately, and, and most people don't. Um, but if you have the right philosophy, you will find opportunities uh, as you go through the next 20, 30, 40, 50 years. And, and frankly, you're most likely to find them uh, when in periods like five years ago when we were having the panic. I mean, that uh, stocks sell at silly prices from time to time. Most stocks at one time or another sell at very silly prices. Uh, and it doesn't take a high IQ to figure out that they're cheap, but it does take a temperament that's willing to step up and actually act. Uh, I tell people, if they're going in the investment business, if you got 160 IQ, sell 30 points to somebody else because you won't need it. I mean, that, that, it, 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 I mean, I figured out very early, you don't have to be that smart in this business, which is fortunate, but you do have to have the right temperament and you have to be able to ignore what other people are saying and, and simply look at the facts and decide, is this stock which is selling at X worth 2X? And occasionally you'll find things like that and if, when you don't find them, you don't do anything. So that's my generalized stock tip, no names. <laughs> I'll make it simple, just buy Bank of America and you'll be set. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It worked all right for him. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Yeah. Next question. Um, good afternoon. My name is Nicholas Walker. Uh, I'm a sophomore in the SFS as well. Um, so, Mr. Buffett, in the past you invested in China, South Korea, and Israel, um, and recently you partnered with 3G Capital and Jorge Paul Lehman um, from Brazil over for the Heinz deal. Uh, does this mean are you tempted to venture into the Brazil market next? I didn't get the question. The question again. You, you did the Heinz deal. <laughs> the question is, are you going to invest in Brazil next? Oh. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to invest next. That's what, that's what makes my job interesting. I mean, uh, I'm, 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 I'm not kidding. I mean, if you went out and played golf and every drive went in the hole, you'd give up. The game wouldn't be interesting. I mean, it, it, what, what's interesting is when you get in the rough and have to come out and a few things like that. So I, I love the fact that I don't know what I'm going to do next. You mentioned the Israel investment. In 2006, in the fall, I got a letter from a fellow and I never heard of him, and I never heard of the company he was talking about, but he said, my name is Eitan Wertheimer, and I want to tell you a little about my company, Ishkar. The letter was a page and a half long, and he said, if he sold the company, the family sold the company, the only company they wanted to sell it to was Berkshire Hathaway, and if I was interested, they'd be glad to come over from Israel and explain it to me, and it was a, it just jumped off the page that, it was, that this was an interesting idea. So I emailed them and they came over very shortly and, and we bought the business. We, we handed them $4 billion for 80% of a company where I'd never seen it or anything. Aton kept saying, you gotta come over to Israel and see the plants and everything. You, you won't believe how wonderful they are. And I said, Aton, I don't go to Council Bluffs, Iowa. You know, I mean, this, uh, 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 I am doing fine in Omaha. And uh, he said, no, you know, you gotta see it. I said. No, no, I, I don't. I, I said we can make a deal without seeing it. He said, "Well, if you buy the, if you buy the company, will you come and see it?" I said, "If we buy the company, I'll come." So we bought the company, and I went over there, and it's true. I've never seen plants like this. It was the greatest operation I've ever seen. And Aton said to me, "He said, you know, that, that's why I want you to come over to see these things." I said, "Listen, Aton, if I'd come and seen them, I'd have paid more money." So, I, <laughs> <laughs> so it, uh, we we have a wonderful partnership with the people in Israel, but I don't know tomorrow. Uh, our partnership with the people in Brazil, with Georgi Paulo Lemon and his associates, they are sensational people. Uh, I got to know Georgi Paulo when I was on the port of Gillette with him. And the opportunity to buy into a wonderful business 
like Heinz, and to be partners, and they do, they, they'll do all the heavy lifting. They're, they run the place uh, with Georgie Powell and his associates. I mean, it, it's just, it, it's, a, it's a great opportunity for us. And I don't know what the opportunity will be tomorrow. With Georgie Paolo, as last December, uh, I was going out to Boulder, Colorado, where he had a group that met, and he said, I think I've got an idea might interest you when I get out there. And so I went out there, and, and, uh, and as we came back on the plane, he explained what he was thinking about in terms of Heinz, and I said, count me in. And, uh, uh, and I will tell you one other thing, which is quite impressive about him. After I said that and went a little, a little further in the thing, he sent me a one-page governance description of how it work, would work between the two of us, and he sent me a very brief description of what he thought would be a fair deal for both of us. I didn't have to change a word. I mean, those are the kind of people you like to...